What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and on today's video, I've got a good one for you. Today's video, we're looking at Ultra's newest Max Cushion Daily Trainer. Okay, so this is the Forward Via and Ultra has made some enormous changes to the shoe. Let's get into it. All right, first things first. Ultra was good enough to send me this pair of the Forward Via for the purpose of review. However, they haven't told me what to say. They don't have any editorial privileges and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. With that said, you're gonna be able to pick up a pair of the Ultra Forward Via for $160. Of course, I'll place a link in the show notes below in case you wanna pick up a pair for yourself. So maybe if you haven't been paying attention for the last couple of years, you may think of Ultra still as a zero drop shoe company. And I guess primarily that is what they are, but they have branched out and they've branched out with their Forward line, that's F. WD. And basically that's their indicator of low drop shoes. And perhaps you've seen some other forward shoes on the channel. I have made a review on the, the forward experience flow. I think I also have one on the forward experience form. But that's just to say that Ultra, Ultra is dipping their toes into the low drop market. And I think they've had some big success. Or at least I should say, if they haven't had success yet, I think this is going to be the shoe that is going to work for them. Now, if you're familiar with Ultra, you're probably familiar with the Via Olympus. Now the forward Via actually replaces the Via Olympus. That was the same type of shoe. It was Max Cushion Daily Trainer. You know, it was ideal for those of you that want to go out and run in comfort. Maybe not speed, but comfort is the name of the game with the Via Olympus. However, I gotta say, I just wasn't a fan. But before we get into it, I will tell you that I am definitely a fan of the Forward Via. Because as I said in the intro, Ultra has made some big changes. But let's get into these specs before we talk about the ride. The Ultra Forward Via has 37 millimeters in the heel, 33 in the forefoot for a four millimeter drop. So we got a good amount of stack height. Oh, I know I did call it a max cushion shoe. And I still stand by that 37 millimeters in the heel as a max cushion shoe. I know that sometimes with some of these extreme stack heights that we're seeing on a lot of other shoes, our definition of max stack can get skewed, but I'm sticking with it. 37 in the heel as a max stack shoe. Now, Ultra claims that in a US men's size 10 and a half, the forward via will tip the scale at 9.65 ounces or 273.6 grams. But in my size, a US men's size 13, it tips the scale at 11 ounces even or 313 grams. And just to go back to the Via Olympus, just one of the many reasons why I like the forward via more than the Via Olympus, in my size, the Via Olympus weighed in at 12.5 ounces or 355 grams. That makes the forward via 42 grams less in my size than the Via Olympus. I mean, for that reason alone, this is the shoe to get. But let's start at the top. Let's work our way down. Now you can see we do have some good amount of heel padding around here but what I really like is that Ultra hasn't gone over the top with the heel padding. You know on some daily trainers they just stuff as much padding into the heel collar as they possibly can which makes it comfortable but it also makes it heavier. And you know what once you get a certain amount of padding in there like is there really a need for any more? I don't think so. I think Ultra has done a good job with just using the right amount of heel collar padding. Now the heel collar padding on the forward via is definitely biased towards the top of the heel collar. So when your heel goes in, it does get a good lockdown. Of course that lockdown is assisted by a semi-rigid heel counter. And I say semi-rigid, you can see me kind of pushing it down here on the back, but it's definitely rigid enough where my heel wasn't going anywhere. Also, while you're looking, look here on the back, look at this heel counter. This thing is elastic. It is just the right size for my finger to go in. It's a very satisfying heel pull. I mean, if you get satisfaction from a heel pull, you will definitely be getting it from this one. For the upper, Ultra is using a brand new space engineered mesh hopper. Is that how they call it? A space mesh hopper. I think that's it. But anyway, it's fairly light. And because it's fairly light, it's gonna be fairly breathable. Although I gotta say, looking at it, it doesn't look very breathable when I'm looking on the toe box here, but it just isn't very thick. So that's a good thing, especially for me when I'm running in Florida. I mean, I know we're coming into the winter, but it's still pretty warm here. So I want a shoe that breathes and I haven't run into any trouble where I thought the forward via was keeping my feet a little too warm. Now, one of my favorite things about Ultra shoes is their very understated styling. And the forward via definitely fits in with this. There aren't many overlays. In fact, on the lateral side here, we only have this little Ultra logo on the back. Come around the medial side, got another Ultra logo here on the side. There are some underlays coming around the toe box just to keep that upper off your foot and a fairly reinforced eyelet chain just to strengthen those laces just a little bit. Something that I love that Ultra is doing is that they've moved their branding to their midsole. So you can see here on the lateral side, we have Ultra kind of stenciled into the side of the midsole. I just think that looks really good. Now I did mention the underlays coming around the toe box and this is actually another big deal about Ultra shoes. Now you know that Ultra is famous for using their foot shaped toe box and they have several different kinds. Well the Ultra Forward Via is using their original foot shape. So you know that when your foot goes in to the Forward Via, you're gonna have plenty of room for those toes to move around. It's just gonna make the whole running experience, walking experience so much more comfortable. The tongue on the Forward Via, you know, I can't, I can't get my thoughts right about this tongue on the Forward Via. It seems like a very big slab of a tongue. Like if I hold it up, I'm gonna have to overlay something so you can see it properly, but it just seems like a very big flat tongue. And when you put your foot in, that tongue does wrap around the top of your foot as it should. 
and the tongue is gusseted and we do have a lace loop right here on the front so that tongue isn't going anywhere but I think maybe because we have quite a wide midfoot in the forward via maybe that tongue is just having a lot of room to just spread out and it looks bigger than it is I don't know but it's really not overly stuffed though I'd say there's a little more padding in the tongue than there is coming around the heel collar I mean who compares that anyway no issues with the tongue I didn't have any lace bite it was very comfortable to put on my foot. The forward via does have the extra eyelet hole right at the top in case you needed to do the lace lock method. I did, as I already said. Good heel lock, nice semi-rigid heel counter. Yeah, no issues in that department. Now is the part that I'm really excited to tell you about because Altra has introduced something brand new for the forward via, and that's the midsole foam. And they've introduced a brand new foam and it's called EcoFlow. Now EcoFlow is a super critical foam. And if we know anything about super critical foams, it's that they make the shoes better. They make the shoes lighter. They make the shoes more responsive. And that's exactly what Altra has done by adding this EcoFlow foam to the forward via. Now look, if you were a fan of the Via Olympus, look, I'm sorry, but the forward via is a completely different ride to the Via Olympus. Me, I gotta tell you, the Via Olympus wasn't my favorite shoe. In fact, after I had done testing it, I would only take it out to walk in it because it was just a little too firm for my taste. Now with the introduction of the EcoFlow foam in the forward via, Ultra has introduced a nice plush and soft ride. Now it's not overly plush, like you're not running on a sponge, but it is such a treat, especially compared with the Via Olympus. And like, I don't mean to bag on the V Olympus so much, but by telling you that I really wasn't a fan, I am also telling you how good the forward via is compared to the V Olympus. This is the update that Ultra needed. Now, Ultra has also tweaked their rocker geometry, which is going to make the ride just a little smoother. We'll see. I can't say I noticed that, but generally speaking, I think Ultra's rocker technology in their shoes is pretty smooth. Never actually had a complaint about it. And then if we come down to the outsole, we can see the traditional Ultra pattern. This is what they're calling their inner flex. And basically this rubber follows the metatarsals of your foot just to make everything more comfortable to bend how it should and the shoe does have a little bit of flex you can see right there i'm gonna say just by looking at the bottom of this shoe like there's a lot of outsole rubber here i know 160 dollars is a lot of money to spend on a running shoe but there is so much rubber on this shoe that i can just tell it's going to last and i am seeing a little bit of wear up on my forefoot my heel is actually looking really good with no wear and actually now that i'm noticing i am seeing just a little bit of wear on this exposed midsole foam but that's probably because when i touch down i'm touching down right around here and the foam is just compressing and causing just a little bit of rub on that exposed midsole foam but it's so far beneath the rubber that it's really not an issue at all okay so now let's talk about right and before i talk about right i do just want to remind you that this is a max cushion kind of daily trainer but more for those long slow easy miles that is where i would gravitate to this shoe just to get the most out of it and when i'm running the softness of the midsole foam as i have just repeatedly gone over and over again is what i most love about this shoe it is a very comfortable ride the rocker profile is nice it flows through my gait cycle if i did have one complaint i would say that this is not a shoe that i would really want to pick up the pace in but i do tend to think that i'm a little spoiled when it comes to running shoes and i also think that this is a much lighter shoe than its previous version the via olympus 2 and with the super critical foam i mean picking up the pace would be an option but i just think we have a lot of other options out there even from ultra if you want to pick up the pace and run a little faster guys if you're looking for a low drop super comfortable shoe just to go out and log those daily miles maybe knock out a few strides at the end of your run if you really want to pick up the pace i think the ultra forward via is definitely one to consider and look i already said 160 dollars a bit expensive maybe but also not really it's right in line with the competition so i actually think ultra priced this very well so what do you think first of all look i love to hear complaints so did you run in the via olympus and do you agree with my opinion of it and if so do you still want to pick up a pair of the forward via definitely think you should and with that it's matt b this has been my review of the ultra forward via it's a big step forward for ultra daily training guys if you can be happy run well I'll see you in a couple of days Thanks.